Today's video is sponsored by Derma Clara. More on them later. Let's enjoy some late winter living, California style, in today's video. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. In today's video, we will cook some comforting late winter meals, apricot chicken, and later on cauliflower mac and cheese. I'm going to share an elevated casual look I've been enjoying for the end of the season. I'm also going to share an ancient board game that's perfect to while away the winter hours. Won't you join us? I love feeling cozy and warm in the winter, but still looking chic. When I was a teenager, and even a bit in my early 20s, my cozy winter look would have always been jeans and a hoodie, but I've matured from that, and I like to make even my casual looks elegant now. This is probably my most favorite casual look of the winter. I'm wearing silk safari trousers, a black v-neck t-shirt, a long cashmere duster, some comfortable loafers, and really pretty but understated jewelry. I'll link everything below, of course. Here's why I like this look. Monochrome looks are always chic, no matter what the color is that you're expressing. The different textures from the lightness of the silk to the heavy softness of the cashmere feel so lovely on the skin and look nice to break up the sameness of the color on the eyes. It honestly feels like I'm wearing pajamas. These silk trousers are even more comfortable than jeans. I like to wear gold jewelry with black, and these pieces are from Zoe Lev's Vermeil collection. this inspires you to play with your casual outfits this season. Even though it's cold outside, we can still look elegant. And now I'm going to share a really easy dinner recipe that is perfect for a late winter meal. Apricot chicken. I start by putting chicken tenders into a greased baking dish. Then in a separate bowl, I combine equal parts apricot preserves and French dressing. Then I add some onion soup mix. I mix this all together and pour on top of the chicken. And then for added texture, I top with chopped dried apricots. I bake this until the chicken is fully cooked. How simple is that? This is a delicious meal served with rice and vegetables on the side. Drizzle some of the extra sauce over the rice. It's so good. I will leave the recipe down below. I'm going to tell you about Derma Clara, who has kindly sponsored today's video. Derma Clara Beauty is a groundbreaking line of skincare that addresses both wrinkles and stretch marks using medical grade silicone patches that smooth, plump, and prevent. You can start training your skin now, even before you have wrinkles. The patches trigger the body's natural collagen regulation and moisturization of the skin. They offer the highest quality, affordable, and reusable skincare patches on the market. Here's how you use them. Make sure you start with clean skin, so use whatever cleanser you use, and pat your skin dry. Then you're going to remove the protective backing from the patches. 
and apply the patches to your treatment areas and gently press until it adheres comfortably. You're going to leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes. Then you gently remove the patches by pulling your skin taut and slowly peeling off the patch. The patches have up to 30 uses. After each use, make sure that you rinse and clean the patches with the patch prep cleanser and let them air dry and then store them again on the backing card. This is such a great product. I now also want to try the ones for the forehead too. I'm totally impressed. So click my link below to get 30% off Dermaclara's best-selling kits plus an additional 20% off and free shipping when you use my code daily. Thank you to Dermaclara for sponsoring today's video. And now let's learn about an ancient strategy game. I find myself wanting to play board games a lot in the winter time. Our wonderful homeschool tutor introduced the game of Mancala to us. I had never heard of it before, which is remarkable because it is one of the oldest board games known to man. Mancala is a strategy game for two players and has been played throughout Asia and Africa for over 6,000 years. The term Mancala is derived from the Arabic word Nagala, which means to move. The earliest versions of the game used primitive tools made of wood or clay. Some boards were even carved from stone. Stone Mancala boards date back from 1400 BC in ancient Egypt. This all sounds very fancy and intimidating, but it's a really fun and easy to learn game. I got mine on Amazon, so I'll leave it linked down below. Here's how you play. You're going to need two players, and you have your Mancala board with 48 stones, although we have lost a few <laughs> along the way. To set the game up, the board is placed between two players, and four stones are placed in each cup. Each player only plays from the six cups directly in front of her. The large cups at the end of the board are the Mancalas so each player's own mancala is to the right. The stones only move counterclockwise to the right. The object of the game is to get more stones in your mancala than your opponent gets in his or her mancala. So the stones from a cup are picked up and one stone is placed in each cup starting to the right. If the last stone played ends in your mancala, you get to go again. If a player's last stone ends in an empty cup on his or her own side, the stones from the opposite side are captured. The capturing stone and the captured stones on the opposite side all go to the player's mancala. When a player has removed all the stones from his or her side, the game is over. Any stones that are in cups on the other side are moved to that player's mancala. Then the stones in each mancala are counted and the player with more stones wins the game. While it is a simple game, it's also a strategy game. So the more you play it, the more you realize different ways that can aid you in winning. We love playing this game with our children and it's a wonderful counting tool for the little ones. That's why our homeschool tutor introduced it to us. I love that people have been playing it for thousands of years and still continue to do so. I would love to know, have you ever played Mancala? And now I'm going to share a cauliflower mac and cheese recipe with you. Who doesn't love mac and cheese in the winter time? Now this recipe adds a creamy and healthy element of cauliflower. I improvised as I did this recipe, so I'll do my best to leave the measurements down below. I'm boiling some elbow macaroni according to the package instructions. And now I make the sauce. I start, as I always do, with my mac and cheese, 
by making the roux, melting half a cup of butter and mixing it with half a cup of flour. Then I add milk. I ultimately ended up adding two cups. I added one here and one later that you'll see. And I season this with salt and pepper. Then I didn't show this part, but I steamed some riced cauliflower. You can find it prepackaged in the store or you can chop up a head of cauliflower. I put the hot steamed riced cauliflower in my blender with a pat of butter and a bit of salt and pepper. And that's what I'm adding now to the sauce. Your kids will never be able to tell that there is cauliflower in this, and it makes the sauce so creamy. I personally love the taste of mashed cauliflower as much as mashed potatoes. Next, I add some cheddar cheese and mix that all together. and then pour this on top of the cooked elbow macaroni and mix that all together. On the stove, I toasted some panko breadcrumbs and I top the macaroni and cheese with it. You could put this under the broiler for a few minutes just to get it nice and toasty brown. And that's it. I sprinkle a bit of chopped chive and this dish is winter comfort food perfection. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that it gave you all the cozy late winter vibes that you were looking for. Thank you to Derma Clara for sponsoring today's video. Click my link below to get 30% off of Dermaclara's best-selling kits plus an additional 20% off and free shipping when you use my code daily. Thank you for joining me today. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in my next video. Love, Jennifer. Jennifer.